You know, it's funny, I've never really had much interest in golf, eh? But uh, ever since I've bought this Lexus, I don't know, I've just found myself gravitating towards the premises on a daily basis. It's uh, really fascinating. But that said, part of the appeal of this Lexus I've bought is that, in many ways, it is a bit like golf. For starters, it's unassuming. To my parents, it just looks like a nice red sedan, so I can pick them up and take them down to church on a Sunday, and they're none the wiser about what lies under the bonnet. It's extremely smooth, quiet, and comfortable. It has a really good amount of space in the boot and a decent amount of space in the back seats. I've got auto lights and wipers, cruise control, reversing camera, Bluetooth, heated seats, keyless entry, and so much more. And there's lots of nice, well thought out touches here and there as well. The boot has a mattress on the bottom so that your stuff doesn't clatter around back there too much. The steering wheel moves out of the way when you turn the car off to make it nice and easy to get in and out of, you know. And when you turn up to the car at night, the car knows and it turns the puddle lights on for you so that you can see where you're walking. But to those in the know, this is no ordinary red sedan. Put it into sport mode, so turn traction control off, and now I have a Japanese M sedan. The first thing that amazed me with this car was the transmission. You can just get on the power and upshift and it literally just happens absolutely instantly up and down gears. The chassis is supremely well balanced and will happily hang the back end out at a moment's notice if you so desire and the best part about it is the steering feel. It makes all of this so easy and so possible because it's just perfectly weighted. And then there's the noise. <laughs> this naturally aspirated five litre V8, while it may absolutely drink through the fuel, the sound that it makes both up and down gears is just phenomenal. And listen to the rev limiter. Oh, obviously some people will be disappointed that I have ditched a nimble front wheel drive manual Honda for a much larger, slightly more boaty rear wheel drive automatic Lexus. But the similarities go further than you might expect both in the way that the engine delivers power, it kind of has a, a VTEC in a way that engages at 4,000 RPM you can hear. There, as the induction flap opens, the transmission absolutely just bangs through gears, which is so fun. And the final thing that I love about this car is that I really did think that coming out of a 200 horsepower Honda into a 400 horsepower Lexus, I thought that it would be a bit unusable. I remember when I first reviewed the Mercedes C63, I really didn't like it and I drove it down this same road and I just thought it was just too much of a death trap. It was constantly trying to hang the back end out and it was just too fast where you put your foot down and you look down and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm going way too fast for a road like this. But somehow, because this is maybe slightly longer gears, a little bit less power and torque and open diff so it's not constantly trying to hang the back end out, even in miserable conditions like this, you can turn out of a corner like this, go foot to the floor, and the car is just completely unfazed 
by whatever you do to it. And I have absolutely no issues letting anybody else drive this car because I know with confidence that you can be an absolute ape behind the wheel and try and get it to do something really, really stupid and the car will just cradle you along even with traction control fully off. So here it is, the new Kiwi Car Life car, a bone stock 2008 Lexus ISF. Five litre V8, eight speed automatic, rear wheel drive. When I first drove one of these, I described it as a V8 Accord Euro. And given how much I loved old early Accords, this, with double the power and features, is without question the best car I've ever bought.